Hey, welcome back, everybody. We got some uh, story time here <laughs> with this can of beans. Uh, yeah, going up in California. Um, uh, when uh, my dog uh, bit me, we, you know, it was a playful bite. It was above my eyebrow. And uh, about a year later, we went to State Line. Uh, my parents were doing some gambling, and then my sisters and I were in the uh, arcade. And uh, we get back, and the dog had had a heat stroke. She tore, or she chewed through the fence. And my grandparents lived right next door to us, Attic. so mm -hmm. it was uh, so it was back and forth. But she had just started trying to attack everybody. Um, so we did. Uh, they didn't tell me at the time because I was just a kid. Um, but that we did. They did end up like putting her down and everything. Um, and it sucked, but you know. Um, with the Rottweiler getting my brother-in-law here to uh, pick her up because like I said she she got my daughter yeah. my daughter's fine um, she's kind of she's kind of laying it on a little thick Break, bring her <laughs> on by the way which which little kids tend to do they, yeah. they, they, they throw it on a little thick yeah so I was just like yeah. I was like okay sweetie I was like do you, uh, we bought some ice cream for after dinner and everything I'm like <laughs> this was all after dinner time anyways but it's like have we bought some ice cream do you want some ice cream yeah and she comes up and i'm like okay well what kind do you want of course they well, of well, course want, she wants ice she's cream. like well i want of course she, goes, she does she goes i like both flavors i'm like, okay you can have a you can have, <laughs> some, you can have some of both That's oh fine. she's milking it she's milking it <laughs> uh, yeah oh uh living room yeah, yeah uh, emf3 it threw a cup I, on the couch i <laughs> oh, Daddy, it hurts, it hurts. I like both flavors. Can I get sprinkles and gummy bears on top, too? <laughs> so, so yeah, no, it, it, it's it's all good, That's though. So good. Like, oh, oh, yeah. she's taking after her dad. Oh. Um, but she's fine. Yeah. She's fine. She doesn't need, she doesn't need stitches. We've, we, you know, my, That's good. my wife's been in the medical field, and she's looked it over, and she's like, no, it's not bad enough for stitches. Um, it's, it's got it all cleaned out. Found the bone. Um, all right, I'll bring a video camera, dots, and a and a book, and uh, mm. and all that. So it's just, like, why am I going in there to look for a cursed object? It's not in the fucking bathroom. Yeah, what's the uh, cursed object? I don't know yet. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Hi. Uh, summoning circle. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Pictures of those are done. So yeah, um, you know, it's the Rottweiler's a puppy. She's, but still, I can't have my kids getting hurt. Yeah. Like there are just some dogs, like my dad's dog. I I love Maverick. I love him. He's the cutest fucking dog, but he just gets very excitable. Like to the point where like I would come over and he would come up to me and start jumping on me and like nibbling on me and start doing circles around the couch and stuff. Like every time anyone came over. And it's like, okay, cool, you're a cute dog, but then he starts like getting too excited and starts nibbling on you and starts like just getting too excited and clawing you. It's like, dude, please calm the fuck down. I know you're a good dog, but this like, you need to calm the fuck down yeah that shit too and like like my dad never did anything about it so he's just always excitable it's like dude you're oh breakers out all right let me triggers uh, in the uh in the attic i'm just getting a couple things dropped down there we go um yeah, right. well, people that have yeah. dogs that are really... I'm on my way to break her. Um, people that have really excited... Like, I get dogs... Are, it, like, you know, if a friendly dog is a friendly dog, but at, at one point, too, you yeah. got to tell them, like, oh. hey, you need to quit jumping on people. You need Where to, are you? You need to quit doing this. You need to quit doing that. Are you here? All right. All right. You want to talk to me? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Do you want to hurt me? Are you here? Are you the Queen of Egypt? Are you the Queen of England? Are you Bo? Are you my grandma? Did you want to touch a snowman? 
Did you want to touch one? Never mind. <laughs> EMF five. Oh, nice EMF five. Yeah. I haven't checked for orb yet, so uh, let's, I'm running out back to the van real quick, so I can do a quick check. Oh uh, yeah, we got. I'm pretty sure that was an orb. <laughs> Okay. Yep, that's so an orb. I'm up here. That's an orb. Right, so that, you have five is... orb, so a bucket ride you. So ultraviolet. Or dots. Alright. I'll I'm go thinking... check the, the the footprints in there. Come on, I need a UV in there. This but, uh, another uh, this. Like, do you I want to do some nightmare after this, man? Oh, yeah, we I can definitely do some, do some nightmare. It's your fucking Dwight Mare. <laughs> um, it stepped in all this salt, but I don't know how long ago, so I'm going to reapply yeah. salt. All right, I'm going to bring in another, another bottle. Um, you know, I'm an animal person. I like, I like cats. I like dogs. I, I'm more fond of dogs than cats, but... Same. I mean, I, I've I've Same. had cats growing up too, and you know it's never it's never bothered me. Uh, let's uh, I I had one I had one cat growing up, princess. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't oh, see dots. any. Oh, <laughs> dots. All right. We gotta ride you. Let's ride you. All right, we got an electrical bitch. <laughs> um, I gotta take two pictures of this. Picture this. Just touch this. Uh, let's see. Prevent hunting and cleanse the area near. All right, easy, easy. All um, right. But yeah, I had a, a cat princess. That was my only cat growing up, and she was the best. But one day, me, and my mom, and my sister went out to get uh, Mexican food from this local joint, and yeah. we came back, and. We're sitting down, we got all the food separated and everything, and my stepdad was just like looking really like dejected and like sad. And he broke the news as that princess got out and got hit by a car. Oh. And that was one of the saddest nights, mm. sitting there eating one of the greatest tacos and just fucking like being sad that our cat just got hit by a car. And he was like, Yeah, I already got her in a shoebox and she's ready to get buried. So the next day, we know you buried in our backyard and everything. It sucked. Oh, yeah. And we're not going to talk, talk about... I guess we're going to talk about the next thing. Um, hunt. Um, one of the dogs that our new neighbors behind us got, you know, decided to break into our backyard. Oh, and um, <laughs> I'll just say, you know, they, they knew where uh, our cat was. Nice. And, um, you know, just not nice about that. Undug nice her. Photo. Yeah, <laughs> undug our cat, and uh, that was oh, that was pretty fucked up to see. <laughs> oh, I, I can I can only imagine. <laughs> I haven't had that personally and it was, happen. <laughs> and it wasn't the only time we killed one of our pets because then we had two bunnies that we had, and uh, for some reason we came home and they weren't in their cages. One of them got loose and we found in our neighbor's backyard and Rex, my bunny, was on the porch in our backyard oh. with the dog from our neighbors, just like <laughs> all happy and everything. And I, I saw my dead bunny sitting there on the ground with this happy little dog on top of him. And I was like, ah, that, that fucked me up. Oh, yeah. I was like, ah, uh, uh, Rex? Please, no, please be playing dead. And he wasn't playing dead. Oh, yeah. No, like the hu the husky's older. You know, she's three. You know, welcome she's to still, the sad now and podcast. Yeah, the, the sad and now <laughs> podcast. You know, the, the husky's younger or older. Um, oh. She is playful, but she's not like that. Oh, so we get the. We the get. Yeah, the the Roddy has like knocked the, the baby over a couple times in the living room, just like running around, like just on her butt. So like nothing bad, but it's like after this incident, it's like it could have been so much fucking worse. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's so. definitely better to be like, we're going to stop this now before it gets worse. Exactly. Because after that, he might be like, oh, okay, it's kind of cool to nibble at someone's face. Yeah. Next time, I'll get a little bit harder. Not saying that all dogs do that. No, at but, all. But there's that no. mentality where it's like, oh, I can play with you this much, and they play with you a little bit harder the next time. That next time could just be fucked up. You know? Oh, yeah. I've been attacked by dogs, and it's it sucks. Like, um, it, it, it really does, because it, it really... It goes off of how they're they're raised and they're trained and everything. It's like this one we've been mm-hmm. trying to train her and like nothing's getting through. And like so, that like, whole like um, like pit bull or Rottweiler thing. Like oh, they're always aggressive dogs. Like no, oh, hell no, they're not. My my buddy not, had I, my buddy had a king pit. Beautiful brindle uh, color, was amazing. A oh yeah, um, beautiful brindle color. This dog was like one of the best trained pits. The only issue is it still liked to jump on people just because it liked to meet new people. But it yeah. never yeah. and if and if it like nipped at him a little harder than playful, it instantly knew its mistake and would like just kind of like sit there and like chill out. So like the dog was trained, but it got it would get a little too excited and nip a little too hard. You know, it was just playing, but, and like at the time he didn't have kids or anything. So it was just him and, um, his fiance at the time. So, you know, it it was one of those, uh, you know, and then, uh, a situation with where he had to, to move and he couldn't find anyone to take the dog. Like I went with him to the shelter to give the dog up and he was just broken he was just out of it and i felt bad for him like i couldn't take him with my living situation with where i was living they wouldn't let us have a big dog we could have a small dog didn't matter how well trained the dog was but uh all right everyone that's enough of the sad and alan podcast on this (laughs) Uh, we caught the ghost we got it done we'll be switching the nightmare for the next video we'll catch you then enjoy your beans